Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Twilight Princess. And we are finally at the boss of this first temple here. The big bad monster thing. And, uh, you know, at first it looks like an empty room, but, uh, it's actually not empty. There's grass, there's poisonous water, purple shit, there's these bomb bugs, whatever they're called. And, uh, Finally, there's piranha plants from Super Mario Sunshine World 64 Galaxy. So this is Diababa, Twilight, Twilight Parasite. They're actually bringing back the names from... I don't know, for some reason Wind Waker didn't give, like... Well, the bosses in Wind Waker had names, but it didn't show what they were. You had to get their figure figurines to know their names, which is kind of weird. So I, I guess this is one of the good things about the game. Anyway, oh my god, we defeated it that easily. Holy shit. Oh my god. That was the easiest boss ever. Where's our heart container that we won't pick up? Actually, that's not the end of it. God. So I don't get it. What would the point like I don't know, like some monsters are already weird, but this one just takes the cake. Why would you need an eyeball on your tongue? Like I don't know, assuming there's evolution in the Zelda series, what would the what would the point of evolving into something with a tongue with an eyeball in your mouth? What would the point of that be? I guess we can't do anything to it, so let's just sit here and do nothing. Of course the game seemed to think it was alright for me to take damage before it actually did what it was supposed to do. I don't know if my game glitched out or not, but I apparently I had to get hurt first before this happens. Yeah. So that baboon we saved from that bug thing earlier. He's gonna help us now. With dead carcasses of these bomb bug things. It's just horrid. So you can, like... Like, uh, make the bombs go to each of the other mouths if you want, but this is what you really want to do. You want to get the middle head down so you can attack it, and, uh... Once it comes back up, it'll spit out this weird shit, but... If you like boomerang any part of it, it'll stop, so that's a strategy I like to do. Also, if you stay far back enough close to the door, you're not really in any danger of being attacked, so... Yeah, they can't reach you. For some reason, this didn't work. Like, the bomb didn't go in his mouth. I don't get it. If it glitched there, too. I don't know if my game is just shitty or something, or if it's scratched, or but I don't know whether that would actually cause any problems like this. Anyway, we got it. It's, it's going down. There we go. That was easy, still, with a wooden sword. So yeah. We killed it. Awesome. And it's like a dead flower now. Ew. Gross. And I like how it makes the sheath sound when Link does that with a wooden sword. It's it's pretty crazy. Ew. And this is the dark object that uh that Farron was telling us about, so maybe Diababa didn't evolve from anything since... I don't know, it seemed to be just this object manifested into something evil or... I don't know what the hell. Anyway, it looks like part of Minna's helmet, so that's weird. That's a fused shadow, so that's what it's called. Yeah, blah blah blah. So there's a total of three fused shadows. So we got one, there's two more. 
And I don't know, if I'd never played a Zelda game before, I wouldn't know what to expect halfway through this game, but I won't spoil it for anybody who hasn't played it. She's telling us to pick up the heart container, but we're really not required to, so we're not gonna do that since this is a three heart run. I mean, as pretty as that looks, you know, we don't want it. Be careful to not, like, throw your gale boomerang at it because that'll make you pick it up if you don't want it. Instead, we're gonna bring this pot with us for good luck. We want to smoke some pot. It's this is kind of silly. Link has to walk around it. Yeah. So yeah, we, we finally got done with the first dungeon. Awesome. And we're given the choice to save our game if we want to. And we're going to save over my first file because I want to save that other file for... If I ever, like, mess this up somehow. And I need to go back to that point in the game. Heroic Butt Munch. That's her new name. I forgot about that completely. So we're not Travis anymore. We're Butt Munch. And I think I named my horse my ass. So we'll be saying that maybe. Maybe like one more time in the game. I don't think there's any other point where the horse is even mentioned in the story. But I don't know. I mean, the horse is in the story somewhat, but it's it's not very important. She's not very important. Jeez. Blah, blah, blah. We need to go to Hyrule, save it, all that stuff. So we're going to finally go out to Hyrule Field. Even though it's been, like, more than a couple hours into the game. If this was Ocarina of Time, we'd be doing this, like, within... Well, if you had already played it before... Or even if you haven't, like, I don't know. I mean, when I first played Ocarina of Time, I was just a little kid, and it was my first real Zelda game, so... I didn't even know where the fuck the sword was, or what, what the hell I was doing, so... And, and, you know, once I got to the first dungeon, that was even worse. I, I don't know. The thing is, this game has a lot of filler. And it's slow, and it's terrible. Uh, Oh, at least it has a cool Hyrule Field theme. Even though it's overused throughout the rest of the game, like, it, you'll hear this 90% of the game, this theme, or any variation of it. Uh, Hyrule Field is kind of interesting in this game. It's got, like, it's got more than one big open field, so it's not really exactly a hub world, even though it is. But it's a whole bunch of different fields, basically, inter interconnected, and, you know, I, I guess that wouldn't be so bad if most of them weren't just empty, mostly empty. I don't know, I preferred the way Scoured Sword did it. It's kind of more open, each area is more open, even if they're not all connected to each other. Oh, also, there's a heart piece up in that tree. If you you can use the gale boomerang to get it, but I'm not gonna go after it. Also, there are these golden bugs that sparkle, and we're not gonna be able to actually use these for quite a while. But I'm gonna collect them right now. There's usually uh, well, there's always gonna be two in very specific areas, and. Uh, you know there's two because there's a boy bug and a girl bug, for whatever reason. There's also gonna be all these fucking birds that seem to infinitely respawn. And they're the goddamn most annoying enemy in, in, in any game ever. Maybe aside from crawlers and watchers from Halo 4 or, or the elites from Halo Reach. Those guys are a pain in the ass. Or Flood. Flood. I hate Flood. All these Halo enemies are really annoying. Yeah. But yeah. I, I hate those birds. They're just about as annoying as the, the birds with the trumpet necks in the Twilight Realm. Come on, you stupid bug. Get over here. 
I guess it's kind of like skull, golden skull tulas, but not quite. I mean, the only the only thing is that they're golden and that they're bugs. So yeah, basically there's a uh, what four rows, five rows of six, or four rows of six. I think that's what I saw. So what would that be? Four times six. Twenty-four bugs, maybe. I guess I don't know. I'm not. I'm terrible at math, at least in my head. I don't know. I should just bring a calculator with me wherever, whenever I do this stuff. Anyway, here's the postman, and uh, throughout the game, he'll give you letters, like after like every dungeon or so, every new area. And this, I don't know. There's only, like, maybe a couple that are really all that important to read. But, you know, I'll be reading them all anyway. This one's just a stupid letter. Oh, I must not have gotten Uku in this file. Whatever that, uh... Whatever her name was, that, uh, thing that could warp you out of a dungeon. Because if you had gotten her, she would have sent you a letter... Somehow, even though she doesn't have any hands to write with. I don't know. So yeah, I didn't get that letter, but not that it matters. She appears in pretty much every dungeon, so you have a choice of whether you want to get her or not. She's not mandatory. So we're back at this wall of twilight now. And we're gonna go through it since there's not much to do in the rest of the world. This game is really linear. Yeah. Yeah, well, let me in the twilight. Otherwise, I can't progress through this game and this let's play would be over. So yeah, let's go in there and do stuff. And you know, you'd think we'd be human or something, but no, we got to turn into a wolf in a minute here. I don't know why it takes so long for it to transform Link into a wolf, but well, whatever. So yeah. No more sword and shield for now. Just wolf stuff. Boring wolf stuff. And the worst part is we don't even go directly into the hunting for tears shit. We still have some some stuff to do. It's not as bad as in the next Twilight Realm section, but still. What is that? It looks like the hilt of a sword or something. And this isn't even possible because... This is going through a cutscene we never experienced due to <laughs> due to this glitch I did. As you saw, Tallow or Mallow or whatever his name is, he had our wooden sword in that cutscene. And this is supposed to be the wooden sword on the ground here, even though we have it, so... I don't know, it's like some kind of paradoxical timeline warp thing. I don't know, timey-wimey stuff. So yeah, that's kind of weird, but I, I guess it's not weird since it's supposed to be programmed a certain way and you're not supposed to be able to do this glitch and, you know, all that stuff. So yeah, we killed more guys. Awesome. We got one of those things, whatever that means. And there's no bridge here. How are we going to get across? Oh no. This Oh god, we gotta look for it. It's probably not over here. Also, we don't have that warp that we got from uh, the Orden Spring because in order to do this glitch that I did, you have to skip that. So, yeah, not that it really matters. You never have to go back there again. You're, well, I mean, you have to go back to Orden again once in the entire game, I believe. But that's about it. So yeah, we were able to warp here thanks to Minda's powers, but we're still a wolf, so yeah, that's weird. Anyway, this is where you need to go. This is the bridge. I don't know if I made it noticeable, but we need this. Uh, let's speak to Minda. Blah 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 blah. 
Okay, well, let's get it then. This. Yeah, see, there's no warp. It should be right here, but it's not there. So, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna bring it here. This is kind of cool the way she does it, but I don't know. Yeah. You won't be doing this too often in the game. Just maybe like... Well, there's one that you're not even required to do, really. It's, it's more for like some kind of like side questy thing. In a matter of convenience, too, at the same time. Like, there, there's two things you get out of it. But I, I probably won't be doing the other thing until, like, after the Let's Play is over as a, as a kind of a bonus. Just because it's so difficult. Anyway, we got the bridge back. Awesome. That wasn't arbitrary at all. Not a bit. Blah blah blah. Let's let's move on. Yeah. So yeah, I guess you can kind of explore the area, but there's nothing you can do really. And these guys sound like they have guitars and their vocal cords or something. Oh, also, I used to think this was like rust on the gate, like this red stuff, but I guess it's supposed to be blood. But I don't know why it would be blood. There's like no dead bodies. I mean. I guess I know it's kind of a kid's game, but they use this as an excuse to give the game a T rating. I don't know, there's like no other reason why I would dis differentiate this from any other Zelda game with any other kind of violence. I mean, like Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask had a lot more disturbing Im imagery and they were only rated E. I don't get that. Of course, they made them change some stuff, like the color of some of the blood, but still. Yeah, whatever. We got another one of these things to do. And I guess some of these can be harder than others because some some of these enemies only stray so far from the other ones. And, I don't know, it can be kind of, kind of hard to get them close together. But we did it with no trouble. We, we managed to do it. Awesome. And we've got another light spirit. I, I think you guys know what, what's coming here. Not another one of these. No. Yeah. I guess we'll, we may as well get our map out. Yay, another light vessel. Thankfully, we only have the same amount to get. Like, you don't have to get more, but they're more spread out in every area, so that'll be in pain. Fortunately, I'm not going to do it this episode, so I'll see you guys next episode. Peace out. Peace and chicken grease. Yeah, look at that. They're all, like, all the fuck, all the way over there. Awesome. Yeah. See you guys next year. Time, place, month, week, thing. <laughs>